Oh, welcome guys. So in this video, uh, I will talk about the so-called rational root theorem. Rational root theorem. So before I start, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, so uh, let's quickly uh, define a setting. So a setting is that uh, right, we have a polynomial ring with the, uh, sorry, not polynomial ring, polynomial equation. Right, and uh, what? What I'm writing about. So this is starting from n and n minus one up to a0, right, plus a0. So uh, let's say n is greater or equal to zero. And the idea is that all the ai are all, inti uh, are all integer. All right, and an cannot be zero. <coughs> okay, so this is the setting. And uh, so the idea is that uh, how to detect the uh, where there's a uh, rational roots, right? So basically, I, the key is that uh, how to find all possible rational roots. So when I say rational, it means that A divided by B, where A, B is comprised to each other, and uh, A, B are both integer, and the B is non-zero. It's a rational number. Okay, so the rational root theorem just tell you that the uh, theorem, theorem which what? So let's say a uh, uh, possible rational roots Rational roots, let's say p divided by q divided called x. Then, and also p q are relative coprime. Then, uh, p must divide by a zero. Q must divide by. Uh, sorry, uh, p must divide a zero, and q divides a n. So that means a zero is divided by p. A n is divided by q. A, a n is divided by q. Okay, so uh, let's just theorem. So let's uh, just dive in the proof. And after uh, we have the proof, then uh, we I will talk about some example. Okay, so the proof is very simple. Let's say a uh, large px is basically a n x n minus one. Uh, why 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 keep right I, uh, minus one right? Hope I'm not stupid. A zero. Okay, so that's p p q. I we'll just put in x equals to this, and we get a n p. Uh, n q n a n minus one p n minus one q n minus one a zero. So it tell you that the uh, right zero, right? So all you get is a n p n plus a n minus one p n minus one q a zero. <laughs> Sorry, q n equals to zero. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's right. Yes, p a n p n minus one. Da, 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 da. Let's say a one q n minus one, a zero q n, right? So just uh, pull out one p and uh, shift this to the right hand side. Okay, so uh, we know that what we know that q is comprised to p, right? So q is comprised to p, right? So from this when we know that p must divide by a zero q n, right? But p is comprised to to q is comprised to p, so P must divide, uh, P must divide A0, okay? So this is the first part. Okay, so let's talk about the next part. Uh, so next part is also uh, trivial, right? Because you can write down this equation as Q A N minus one, P N minus one, plus A N minus two, Q P N minus two, uh, da, 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 to A zero, Q N minus one minus a n p n right and uh so now from this side q divides a n p n but q is comparing to p so q divides a n so let's see this part okay so finish up okay so that's talking about example uh so example uh, is x, example one, and let's say p is just two x uh, cube plus x minus one, right? So from these things, we know that uh, let's suppose our x is uh, p divided by q. So by definition, right, by use the rational root theorem, tell you that uh, right p must right. So p must divide by right p right. So p must divide by uh. P must divide minus one and uh, 
Q must divide two, right? So the pos so right, so this delta Q can be minus one, minus two, and the P only can only be plus or minus one. So the possible rational roots. are just plus or minus one, and plus or minus a half. Okay, hopefully I'm correct. Okay, and then you can directly check that the uh, off is, is uh, cannot be zero, right? If you plug x equals plus or minus one or plus uh, or this, right? So this tells you that uh, p has no rational roots. There's no rational roots. Okay, so let's talk about the next example. Let's say p, right? So from here, that uh, let's say x is p divided by q. So uh, let's so right. So q must divide one, p must divide six, right? So p can be plus or minus one, plus or minus two, plus or minus three, plus or minus six, right? But q can only be plus or minus one, right? So uh, if you can collect this, you only get x equals plus or minus plus two, plus two three, plus two six. Okay, and uh, and then you can check that. Uh, Actually, p one is zero, right? p two is zero, and the p negative three is zero. Okay, so these are all the three roots, right? So the, in in this case, the rational uh, root theorem actually detects the three possible uh, rational roots. Okay, and uh, there are other examples, right? But uh, uh, but I think. Uh, but I think it's already enough, right? Because you just you 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 guys know how to how to do uh, how to do this uh, do this uh, example, okay? So the next video, uh, I maybe talk about uh, others like the the division process and also other ways to detect the the rational roots. Basically, this is basic. At uh, least rational roots is like a short amplification of Gauss lemma. So maybe I can talk about the Gauss lemma in the uh, in the future. Okay, so that's it. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, and uh, I will see you guys in an interesting math project.